Hi, this is the first video in a series of tutorials for Laser Show Gen, which is a program for creating and playing laser shows. This video will give an overview of the whole software and explain how to get started using it. The basic version of Laser Show Gen is free of charge, but some features requires the full version, which at the time of filming costs $25. The program is available for both Windows, Mac and Linux, as well as a limited version that can be run directly in your internet browser. You can find the download link or learn more with the link in the description below this video. After you have installed the program and run it, you are met with this window. This is the editor mode, where you can draw your own laser frames or animations from scratch. At the time of filming, there are two other modes in Laser Show Gen, the Timeline mode and the Live mode. You can enter these modes by using these buttons or the View menu, or you can click Tab, like this. This is the Timeline mode, where you can assemble animations on a timeline to create longer and more complex shows that can be synchronized to music. And this is the Live mode, where you can trigger animations to play on demand using your keyboard, for real-time or improvised shows. We will take a better look at all of these modes in other videos, but for now, let's go back to the editor mode and make our first simple animation. This black area is the canvas. This is where you can draw your frames and preview them. It's blank now because we haven't drawn or opened anything. To draw something, you must choose the shape, color and blanking of your drawing. So let's say we want a red circle. First we choose the circle shape here. This button means to use single color, so that is already correct. And we can choose the color red in this color selector over here. As for blanking, this button means that the but laser is on for the whole shape, which is correct. So we don't need to change this either. If you want a more detailed explanation for how to use all these tools, we will go more in-depth in a future video about the editor mode. But for now, feel free to experiment. Now all we need to do is draw on the canvas with our mouse to create our red circle. We can select the circle we just drew by holding down Ctrl or Command on Mac and clicking on it. Then we can perform various modifications, such as moving it by dragging it, resizing it around this anchor point by dragging this symbol in the corner, and so on. You can also delete, copy and merge objects with the right-click menu. Let's try to resize the circle like this. But this just resizes the circle instantly, it doesn't animate the change. To turn the change into an animation, we can click this checkbox in the animation section of the window that says Enabled. Now if we try to resize the circle again, at first it looks like nothing happened, but if we try to play the project by pressing space, we can see that we have a loop of the circle shrinking. Ok, so how can we play this animation on a laser projector? You have two choices. You can export the animation into an ILD file, which can be read by many laser projectors using an SD card. And it can also be imported into other laser show programs. Or you can connect a laser DAC to the computer, which can output signals directly to the laser projector in real time. For this tutorial, we will use the Helios Laser DAC, our own affordable adapter for connecting to laser projectors with an ILDA port. You can find the link to the Helios Laser Deck in the description. After plugging the DAC in, we can go to the Laser Show Gen settings by clicking on this button or using the menu on top. We click the scan button down here and the DAC shows up in the list above, automatically selected. We can then go back to the editor mode and press the laser on button. You might have to tweak some optimization settings in the settings window to get perfect results, 
but we can see that our file is being played. Now, let's have a quick look at the other modes as well. If we go back to the timeline mode, you can see the timeline here and a list of layers where we can place our files. There is only one layer now, but we can create another one by clicking this plus button. If we want to add the animation we just made in the editor mode to the timeline, we must first click on the layer and the time where we want to insert it, marked by this little red arrow. Then we can press I or use these buttons or the right click menu to add the file from the editor mode, like this. Now if we click here to move the cursor and then press space to play again, we can see our animation in the preview box on top being played. You can also directly import existing ILD files or laser show gen frame files without going through the editor mode. We can also load audio to the timeline by clicking this button here. When the audio is loaded, it will be previewed in this area so that you can easily match your laser show to the beat. One thing to note is that the timeline mode is not available in the free version of the software. Now onto the live mode. This area is a grid where we can add files that we can trigger to play on demand. It is empty now, but we can add our circle animation from the editor mode by pressing L or using the buttons. We see the file appeared here. We can now click it and the animation will play. We can also press the key that is written in the corner of the object, in this case 1. If we add more files, we can use the keyboard or mouse as a trigger pad to play shows live. You can also use these sliders on the sidebar to create effects like color change or movement on demand. That wraps up the overview of the software. There are a lot of features we didn't have time to cover of course, so there will be more videos later showing you how to master different sides of the software and create just about any kind of laser show you like. Until then, have fun experimenting and take care.